Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Grow Tinger, and I am playing some Rule of Rose. Well, we obviously can't go that way because there's not currently a freaking elevator over there. I said, I don't think. Oh, never mind. Yes, I can. Maybe it's later that I can't. Let's go! Let's go to upper. Seeing it's going to the middle one is kind of useless at the moment. It's useful later. We'll need it later, just not right now. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute, there's a thing on the ground. Ah, I missed it. I'll come back for it. We have to come back this way anyway, so. Bye, Brown. Cause you can't climb ladders because you don't have opposable thumbs. Wouldn't it be weird if a dog could climb a ladder? Kind of like the goat in Goat Simulator, just walking up the ladder. It was a dark, starless night. Okay. I'm on top of a blimp. This is safe. <laughs> Looking closely, you could see someone moving in the faint light. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that. I was just so scared. You look like you look scared at the beginning, but by the end, you look like you were enjoying torturing me. <laughs> and a man turns into a spider here in a second. Spider Manda! I had no choice. They would have hurt us both one day. <laughs> so? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But it's my turn. Don't think you have to hold back. Do it only this. And this. And this. And this. Have I mentioned that Amanda's a little messed yet? <laughs> This game is full of what did I just watch? What did I just watch? She's climbing on me! She didn't roll over and get off of me and go past. She climbed over Jennifer. Jennifer probably got a nasty shot of some little little curl crotch there. Hi Diana! Diana is making plans. Probably involving me torturing Amanda back to destroy whatever kinship we may have. Because little kids are jerks! Oh, I thought there was something there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go! Darn. I don't know why I thought that was a thing, but it was a thing. Go! Do I still need this? No, not right now. I don't think. <laughs> I know where Amanda is, but what we need to do is find Sir Peter, who we know nothing about yet. We have to go to see what our monthly contribution is supposed to be. We gave a beautiful, beautiful butterfly that they still hated. That didn't work. This month? Well... We'll just have to go over there and see and hope nothing kills us on the way there. Even though I don't think we have to worry about fights just yet. Maybe. Possibly. I might be wrong. This is one of the few games that I can honestly say I'm good at. I am good at this game. Because I've played it way too many times to be healthy. Unless it's a boss fight because the fight controls again. I'm killing something with a fork! <laughs> it's not how science works. It's not even close to how science works. Engine 3 maintenance. Then again, this chapter we get the weapon I'm probably going to use for the entirety of the game because it's OP. You do get a variety of weapons during this game. Some of them are more powerful than others, like the knife is obviously very, very powerful. What? That being said, 
range weapons are also very important. You don't really get anything like a bow or anything. You just have melee weapons, but things with reach, like a pipe, a lead pipe, or a broom? I prefer those guys because then you don't have to get up close and personal with the monsters. I mean, again, right now, I have a fork! <laughs> it's, not a very, it's not a very effective weapon. I'd probably be better off just using my fists. Then again, because video game logic, having a weapon equipped, no matter how ridiculous, is still usually better than having no weapon equipped at all. Unless you're playing an unarmed person in Skyrim or Oblivion. Read the poster. This month's gift, One Horned Peter. So do you have to cut Pe do you have to cut Peter's ear off or something? Um I can't remember where to go from me here. Oh wait, I'm have to go talk to I think I have to go talk to Amanda. I distinctly remember possibly having to talk to Amanda. Maybe. Possibly. I don't really remember everything about this game. I do! I totally do! That's lies and slander. I remember everything. The impetuous princess bustled about, complaining. Peter smells like poo. He's so stinky, I don't want to touch him. Stinky, stinky, go away. Why are you eating your fingers? That's not very good for you. You should probably stop that. Eating fingers is bad. Especially your own fingers. Because then you can't do things like hold pencils correctly? Hold pencils correctly. I'm good at English. I'm good at English when it's 10 in the morning. <laughs> working class luggage. Yeah, because uh, poor Amanda and me, we're working class. We're the proletariat. Well, it's time for an uprising of the proletariat. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Jennifer, I have a wonderful gift. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> It's almost ready, so please wait a little longer. It's a little <laughs> bit more than... It takes you the entire game to finish said present! And it's right here, by the way. Hey! Fine, I guess I can't take her diary yet. Click, 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 click. Up. Hey, guys! Toss! She looks around, where did that come from? Amanda and Jennifer, report to the gift box at once. Cool. Nervously, the small-hearted princess rolled her shoulders and said, <laughs> Too bad, but the gift will have to wait. Oh, <laughs> for now, let's wish ourselves luck, Jennifer! <laughs> So I guess whoever gets the gift to the box first is the one who's fine. Whoever gets it last gets wrecked by a rat attached to a stick. I mean, the rat's not really disgusting, to me at least, yet. Unless it has uh, fleas with black plague. Because that would be bad. We don't want the black plague. The black plague is a thing that is not good. And a thing that I would rather not have in my body. My wrist still hurts. Am I getting a lot of pain in my left wrist right now? And I'm currently controlling the character with the right, with my right hand, which is weird. Like right here. I'm hoping it's not carpal tunnel because that would be bad. I don't want carpal tunnel. Emergency. One horde Peter ran away. Catch him! Catch him! Gotta go catch the Peter. Gotta go catch the bunny. Peter's a bunny, by the way. Gotta go catch the bunny. Gotta go catch the bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Bun, bun, bun. I used to own a rabbit, actually, when I was a kid. <laughs> when I was in fourth or fifth grade, I can't remember which. Me and my best friend, Emily, the class had a class of rabbit. It was a white, al white albino rabbit, so it had red eyes. And the class named him Snowball. We adopt- my class adopted them from the kindergarten class because the kindergartners were feeding the rabbit pencil shavings and stuff. They were just sticking things into the cage for the rabbit to eat. 
which obviously is really, really bad. Also bunny. Bun, bun, bun. Bun, bun, bun. Bun, 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 bun. Bunny, 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 bun. Anyway, my class adopted the rabbit. Sup? My class adopted the rabbit, called him Snowball. Me and my friend did. And me and my friend volunteered to take care of the rabbit. So we took care of him, but when it came time for the school year to end and we had to get rid of the rabbit, we had to get rid of the class pet, I volunteered to take it home and my parents allowed it. I took the rabbit home. We didn't end up having to keep him for a while because eventually my parents lost the house, so we had to get rid of the rabbit again, but we found a nice home for him. Anyway, that entire time, this this rabbit, I kid you not, got huge. When we first when we first got him in the classroom, he was you know a little little baby rabbit, little bunny. He got big. <laughs> he got big. Also, that's a great big pile of shit. No, really, that that that's a pile of rabbit droppings. <laughs> and even though I took Snowball home, Emily ended up getting some rabbits of her own. And she ended up fostering a whole bunch of rabbits for, um, for a fo foster rabbit society, humane society thing. I don't think it was actually the humane society, but something similar for bunnies. And so she'd foster them and they'd get adopted and she'd foster them and they'd get adopted. She ended up with a couple, two rabbits herself, I think, two permanent bunnies. Anyway, Sir Peter. Sir Peter, Sir Peter went out for a stroll. Sir Peter, Sir Peter, put in a cage, had to hold it in. Sir Peter, Sir Peter, needs to go out right now, doesn't want to sin. Sir Peter, Sir Peter, bagged and whisked away before he found a toilet. Goodbye, Peter, goodbye. Okay. Bye, buddy! Also, giant pile of shit. We have a bag of rabbit droppings! Great. Hey Brown, you get this right. I'm gonna make you sniff, sniff some rabbit droppings. Go! Go! So we gotta go catch the bunnykins and try not to die in the process. But anyway, I've had a very, very, very soft spot for rabbits. I just love them. If you guys saw my PAX East 2015, yeah, PAX East 2015 pictures. Hi, bunny. Now I got a bunny head. You were very ineffectual with that attack. My PAX Prime, PAX Prime, PAX East 2015 pictures, there are a bunch of pictures of me holding a rabbit and freaking out. At the Amazon party, they had a small petting zoo. They have baby rabbits, baby chickens, baby, yes, baby chickens, and baby ducks, if I remember correctly. And I got to hold them all. They were so cute, especially the bunnies. Rabbits have this, this little, um, me that. I got an airship map that I'm probably never going to use. Rabbits have this, um, what's it called? This really, really soft patch just behind the head, between and under both ears. There's a small patch of fur there that just makes the rabbit go, just get really mellow. And it's probably the softest part of fur on a rabbit. It just feels like silk. I will never be finished talking about bunnies. Was there something over here? Oh, 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 nope, nope. That's just a texture glitch. Texture, texture glitch. Nope. I'm going this way. I really like bunnies. I like bon bon. Uh, I, I'm a snowball now. I can't have a rabbit. I can't. Not in this place. Um, my roommate's already got three cats. One of these days I want to get a cat. I want to get a cat myself, but... And... Attacked? What's that? I get your knife! It's better than a fork! I got the knife. Ram. Oh, right, the rabbit's here somewhere. Huh? <laughs> Sup? Oh! Where are you at? 
No, sir, for me. Oh, too many. Too many creepers. Go. Well, you faker. You took me over there just so I would trigger that, didn't you? I remember correctly, he's in a bath. I remember correctly, he's in a bathroom. So if I have to go that way, I'm going to have to circle around and go the long way because of course I am. Now get away from me. Get away from me, you creepy Olivia things. Also, new girl. That's my bed, apparently. Despite the fact that I keep waking up in the filth room. You can find little things like that in this game. Just scrolls on the walls, on the ceilings, in little shadows even. There's one point where in a certain room you, can, you can't you can find a noose. You don't see a noose. But you see the shadow of a noose. And there's theories around that as well. So rabbits! I like rabbits. They're really, really hard and high maintenance to take care of, though. Oh, bejeebus. And the uh, little princess there, she was kind of right about them smelling at times, but it's not necessarily the rabbits that smell bad. It's their cages. It is pretty much impossible to get one of those things to smell good. Oh, right, I have to kill these guys. Get wrecked! Yeah, this, this, this is my fighting, guys. I am so good! Ow! I just got bit by a rabbit! <laughs> Murder! Murder has been achieved! Murder the bunny! Murder the bunny! Did I murder the bunny? Cool! So, there's your first taste of battle in Rule of Rose. It's not the best, I would say. In fact, it's kind of horrible. But that again, you're not really meant to fight most of the game. And you're supposed to fight like a s silly little girl. I'm gonna kill you. You have a better weapon than me. Ow! That's not very nice. Get wrecked. Give me your blade. I want it. Gimme, give gimme. Give I got Baron. This is one of the secret things. The There's the Baron the Duchess, and a couple others. I think if you get them all, you get something special after the game, but... I also think they're more... slightly more powerful than the base weapons, like the Baron's slightly more powerful than the kitchen knife, etc. I'm not really gonna worry too much about them. If I see him, I'll grab him, but for the most part... Lead pipe. Once we get the lead pipe, at least. Then lavatory! I'm not supposed to be in here! Um... I think it was this one. Balls. Balls. Balls! Nope! I'm gonna go this way. I tried to make he 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 Brown. Brown, I almost said Huey again. I tried to make Huey do the thing. Oh, I told it to find that instead of equip it. I'm a silly. I'm a silly. No, remove that. And equip. Okay, apparently I can't equip the Baron. Never mind. Um, find. Go! Go! Okay, I was going the right way. Eh, it's just a little hiccup. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's this one. Nothing! There must be no one in there who has opposable thumbs that can knock on something. So now we need to go and chase Zibuni again because this thing will not sit still. Also, how is it opening doors? Rabbits do not have the faculties to effectively open doors. Trust me, I know I used to own one. We did have to keep a child's gate at the uh, top of the stairs, though, when we had the rabbit. In just or t in the doorway to keep it out of uh, keep it from leaving my bedroom when I had Snowball running around my room. Oh, I missed my bunny. Oh, and it was a white it was a white albino bunny too. 
It was a white bino bunny. It was a white bino bunny. I want a rabbit. <laughs> I want a bunny back. One of these days. One of these days I'll give myself another rabbit. First, though, kitten. I want to get a kitten. I want to go to the Humane Society and get a kitten. Go to the pound and get a kitten. I'll have to talk to my roommate about it first, and I'll have to make sure that I've got a little bit of buffer of money. So I can pay for the food, I can pay for her litter, I can get her a litter box. Because I don't want to, you know, abuse my roommate stuff. Hi, bunny. Bye, bunny. Hi, bunny. You're not a bunny. Why did I call you a bunny? You're a demon. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Rule of Rose. I'll see you all in the next video.